Hey. You're stressed, aren't you? A lot of things going on. You're tired. I get that. I'm stressed as well. <laughs> Come sit with me for a bit. We'll talk about something cosy. Might help us both. This is Raman's Cozy Corner. Our own little bubble to get away from the world. This is where we'll talk about some quieter video games. A nice break to the typical horror content that I make. Here's a cute video game I found. It's called Haven Duck. I think you'll like it. Haven Dock is a cozy game about survival and resource management. The aim of the game is to turn your meagre starter base into a thriving city. You wake up on an empty remote island, scavenging leaves and wood from a recent shipwreck. From there, you could expand your base, collect and cook food, and monitor your bodily needs like hunger, thirst, health and rest. Before too long, you'll notice many castaways arriving on rafts, desperate for help and you can direct each of them to work with you to build up the base and form a community. Everyone needs to be fed and have shelter, and they're all willing and able to pull their weight, which is nice. Something that surprised me in the game was how rapidly it expanded. Soon it was like watching a colony of ants before me, all working together to keep each other safe and happy. As your city grows, you must take care of your people. There needs to be a place for people to rest, eat, work, heal and play. You can spend resources researching ways to improve the efficiency of your machines, allowing you to better accommodate the other survivors and town as a whole. You can also trade resources with passing traders, like the lone blacksmith or my personal favourite, Dr. Squid. I like his name, Squid. There are many machines to operate, crops to grow, resources to gather, and upgrades to research. Everyone must be fed and kept happy in order to stay healthy and productive. There's also a wealth of customizations to unlock for your base, turning it from a remote island wreck into a bustling, lively vacation destination. You get cute floor lights, flamingos, and even a dance floor. Now, if that sounds like a lot to keep track of, it kind of is. I'll be honest, I was initially pretty overwhelmed with how much there was to do, but after taking a short break to buy food for my cat, I settled back in and realised the ants were taking care of themselves. By planning ahead, prioritising my resources one building at a time, and figuring out who should be in charge of what, I was absorbed well into the early hours of the morning, and I didn't want to stop playing. After many hours, my town looks like this. It's... It's not great. I haven't organised the workstations as well as I could have, but it's mostly because I need to fully plan the best, most efficient place for the workstations and amenities to be. I'm still in the relatively early game, I've yet to harness the power of electricity or scavenge the depths of the waters below for more resources, so there's still a lot more for me to do. It's worth mentioning also that Haven Dock is currently in early access, with a very passionate developer who's been updating the game pretty much daily, so who knows what other features will be added before release. The community is also active too, sharing build ideas and tips for new players. And to top it all off, there's also an experimental multiplayer feature, with games supporting up to 16 people, so you and your friends can survive and thrive together. Haven Dock to me feels like a mix of Animal Crossing, The Sims, and a bunch of Facebook Flash games that I used to play back in 2010, and I mean that in the best possible way. There's a quiet charm to its writing, graphics, progression, and resource management. And my favourite thing about it so far is that everyone's island feels unique and personal to them. I really like that. Overall, this game is certified cosy, and it belongs in Roman's Cozy Corner. Let me know if you want to see a full playthrough from me, because I recorded a lot of footage. And thank you for watching. Stay safe, and warm happy healthy. Ironically enough, as I was writing the script and listening to some quiet rain sounds to calm myself down, <laughs> I got an emergency alert on my phone uh, for a severe warning, and it scared the shit out of me. I guess they were just sending out tests. So that didn't calm me down, but I know what will calm me down, hopping back into Haven Dog. <laughs> I wasn't kidding, I was literally about to edit the narration and the video, and I'm like, actually I should probably get one final shot of my progress, and then I got the dog in Haven Dog. <laughs> and I just played that for like an hour and a half, oops.